I come around and I see this young man here ready packed up. I think he's moving out. Are, are you moving out? Uh, there goes my little man. Johnny's going to try to catch Blanca. This is the honoriest donkey around, so go catch her. I'm going to help cut her, cut her off a little. She's made a lot of progress for a she was kind of ornery, Jenny, but uh, that's a good girl. She trying to come at you? She wants to try to kick at us. For some reason, she's a little pissy today. You're Blankenstein. Come on. <laughs> Hungry little winch. <laughs> oh, Andre, little girl, <laughs> you're mean. too she's she's like okay you guys got me here you go Johnny all right mean old woman I know what's wrong was he being mean she being mean So what happened, George? Come here. My mouse are chasing me. Chasing you? Yeah. I think she just followed. Here, here. Here. Well, finally caught her. Now Andy's gonna, or Johnny's gonna start taming her down. Go get a brush and brush her down, okay? Good afternoon. I'm Andy, and tonight we're going to be working Bluebell in the round pin and maybe try to ride her and see if she'll let us. And hope you enjoy and come along with us, see how she does. So, this is the first time. This is the first time her running in with in the round pen with the saddle, correct? Yeah. Yeah, so he's gonna work her. This is Bluebell, this is Rush's horse. 
and uh, he's going to work her for the first time in the, the round pen with the saddle. And we redid our round pen, kind of made it to where uh, it's really soft around the edges. And and uh, we'll see how old Bluebell does. He's got to get her attention to where she will focus on him and not the ground and the new stuff here so the stories of the lifetime he wrote down in his book 80 years of living there to see the laughing and the crying the working and the trying oh they mean so much to me he says life is quite a gamble, we take chances every day. We don't always know just how we fare. Remember, nothing's ever certain except the sweating and the hurting. And it helps to know how others care. He called them chances of a lifetime. To me, they are a gold mine. Knowing someone else has felt the same. So she's picking this up fairly decent. She still has a few spots where she likes to just try to change, do her own thing. And uh, but they're getting fewer and fewer here. She's doing pretty good. And uh, she'll learn that she'll need to go on our command and turn. And she, she's learning that very good right now. Andy's doing a great job. Puts the pressure on when she starts slowing down. Chances are you'll surely win the game. The love of a mother, I know he must have missed growing up with his brothers wild and free. Across the country they would ride, ranging far and wide. Oh, it seems like fun to me. The people that he knew then, they live on every page. Some were good, and maybe some were not. But if you're honest every day in what you do and say, you always get back more than you have got. He called them chances of a lifetime. To me, they are a gold mine. Knowing someone else has felt the same Remember winning or the losing It's mostly our own choosing Chances are you'll surely win the game so This is the first time doing up-downs on her And uh, so we'll do a few of these up-downs back and forth To see what... Uh, she does. The horses of the rough string, the ships in time of war, a cowboy's worst nightmare, everyone. Through the threat of losing all, the climbing and the fall chose to remember just the fun the call of the next horizon never failed to stir his soul somehow he couldn't wait to see what's there a valley green and growing or a desert hot wind blowing some more family stories home to share He called them chances of a lifetime. She flex her neck a bit on the other side. Knowing someone else has felt the same. Remember winning or losing, it's mostly our own choosing. Chances are you'll surely win the game.
you think, Andy? I think she's doing good with her neck being flexed, and I think she did pretty good in the round pin. She started out real good, and then when she started getting tired, she started getting the spoiled started coming out in her. She started turning when she wanted to or stopping when she wanted to. So we had to increase, increase the pressure on her to keep her, keep her going so she'll respect us and go on our commands. And once she started learning to go on our commands, we just came and started flexing her neck, and she's done pretty good there. We're going to do some more up-downs and we'll get on her and sit on her and maybe ride her around a little bit and see how she does. Come along with us. So the first time we're doing up downs, she was with me. I was holding her. Her first time they, she was doing up downs, I was holding her. So now we want her to sit still while he does up downs. So. Oh cowboy, when riding out one dark and dreary day, on a ridge he rested as he went along his way. When all at once a mighty herd of red-eyed cows he saw Plowing through the ragged sky And up a cloudy draw Do you want me to have a hold of her when you swing over? Yeah. Okay, so now he's going to do some up-downs. You're going to swing over, right? I'm going to try to keep her stationary here. That's a good girl. If the eye was riders in the sky, the horns were black and shiny and their hooves were made of steel. Brands were still on fire in their hot breath he could feel. Bold affair went through him as they thundered by. As you heard the so I'm going to get on her and have my dad walk her around a little bit. See if she will do anything with me. I don't think she will, but just for safety precautions, I'll have my dad walk her around for me for the first time. And then we might. Just go with the, just the lead rope and run her, walk her around in the pin. So, see how it goes. And he heard their mournful cry. If the eye, if the eye, oh, Came on by him, he heard one call his name. Do you want to save your soul from hell or riding on this rain? Let cowboy change your ways today, or with this you will ride. Trying to catch the devil's herd across these endless skies. I think she did really good tonight. Um, she surprised me on how good she did. I thought she was going to act up a little bit more when I got on top of her. Um, but she did really good. She didn't throw a fit or nothing. Just had to get her used to it. Used to be me up here. and I liked the way she started moving out at the end. Just, she made, came a long way from when we started this morning, or this afternoon. So. so I came around the corner from working with Bluebell. And with Andy and I, I come around and I see this young man here ready packed up. I think he's moving out. Are, are you moving out? No. No? What are you doing? I'm getting her desensitized with stuff. Being in her packs. Have, so then she's going to be, so she'll be de desensitized for if any, for if the guy that, 
for if someone that buys her wants to pack her, she'll be good with packs. That looks pretty good. Yeah, so what's in these bags here? Uh, there's... What do you got in them? There's two little cans in each one of these. Yeah. George is feeding her some grain. Yeah, she's doing good. Two little cans full of stuff like this. Yeah. Two of these in each. And then in the back here. One of each of these full of Number stuff. Number 10 cans, huh? Yep. So how'd she do with this? Awesome. She's yeah. done really good tonight. Yeah. Well, I like it. Yeah, she's done phenomenal. And I have a rope on her right here. Yeah. Awesome. That is so awesome. Yep. Johnny's making a really good case for us to keep this one around. If we can get her packing and everything, we might uh, have to keep her and take her on a couple of pack trips. Dad, we shouldn't take Cole to the sale. We're not taking her to the sale, Georgie. We're getting a lot more money out of her selling her. Or somebody coming looking at her or here then taking her to the sale, you know? Yeah. They can put her money on her. Like, well, she goes to one billion. It's all right. You'll just stay here and you go. They can use it, and then you'll come back. Um, this girl ate all this grain already. She likes grain, Georgie. I'll tell you that. Thanks for watching, and hope you enjoyed this video. Um, come back for more and updates on this horse for Russ and Tin Barn Farms over and out. If you like this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Tim <laughs> <laughs> on Farms over and out. I wouldn't have made it to the Arkansas mud if I hadn't been right on the Tennessee stud. I had some trouble with my sweetheart's time. One of her brothers was a bad out along. There goes my little man. Message with my uncle and I got away from the Tennessee stud. The Tennessee stud was lonely in the color of the sun when his eyes were blue. He had the nerve and he had the blood, and there never was a horse like the Tennessee stud. Drifted on down in the low man's land and across the river called the Rio Grande. Raced my horse with the Spaniards pulled till I got me a skin from silver and gold. Gambler, we couldn't agree. We got in a fight over Tennessee. We our guns, he fell with a thud, and I 